Lee Steinberg was supposedly the inspiration for the Tom Cruise character in Jerry Maguire. You know, the movie in where Cuba Gooding Jr. popularized the phrase, Show me the money. Show me the money. We're here now with Andrew Pinnock, former NFL running back, Scott Gray, WTSC sportscaster, a contributor. This, to me, is a huge story. This guy, super agent Lee Steinberg, worth over $100 million, had over 150 clients, once represented eight number one NFL draft picks. So he's broke. Quick reaction. Quick reaction. Maybe it was he wasn't really worth a hundred million dollars. Maybe his clients was worth over a hundred million dollars. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I think a morality story for everyone to really pay close attention to, particularly young people. I think the undoing with Lee Steinberg started with drinking. Hmm. And you know, uh, I, I think Andrew makes a good point. Maybe what you saw was really a house of cards and one thing led to another another and it all fell apart but apparently it did start with drinking i remember barry sanders father the former running back and they were talking about agents and super agents yeah. and he was saying as andrew was saying you know if you get a great athlete guess what you become a super agent and so right. i hear andrew saying maybe it became uh the self-fulfilling prophecy where he was assumed to be a super agent because he got hooked up with big time well, clients the whole thing about the movie uh Jerry Maguire. Right. He came up with one super client. Right. And now all of a sudden, he's a super agent. Right. And uh, you're right. You come up, you find the kid with talent. Hey, let's face it. Any one of us could, you know, all of a sudden, see a kid, nurture a kid. Boy, this kid's got some great talent. Right. right. Uh, you know, bring him up. Say, you know. Now direct him as to where uh, the best college choice would be. Right. Direct him uh, where to go after college. You know how to. But a hundred uh, million dollars, though, guys. I mean, because one thing is direct a guy. I mean, you can be human, make some mistakes. Right. When you have a hundred million dollars come through, you represent agents or clients, and you make a hundred million dollars over 30 years. I mean, you got to save some of that money. I mean, alcohol was an issue, a fast lifestyle was an issue, personal issues. I mean, almost the same issues that apply to many athletes. So many times we story about athletes squandering their money. One area I don't think you've touched on is I think there were also a number of lawsuits involved. Mm -hmm. that, was you know, that, that. And that's what Andrew was touching on earlier is maybe he really wasn't a super agent. Right. Lucked on to some good kids. Right. But either way, though, either morning. way to squander whether he was a not a good agent or not, he made a lot of money. Right. You can't dispute that. Or right. right? you make you're gonna make a day agent you make two to three percent off a player's total contract. Right. And you know, all it takes is one. You get one good athlete, you know, first round draft pick, others will follow. And I, I think I read somewhere in a story where one of his uh, you know, employees took out a three hundred thousand dollar loan. Right. And I'm pretty sure like, you know, that story is not completely told. That happens all the time. Well, you, you get, borrow money from the client right. and you gotta pay it back. Well they they what they do, they borrow money from the client without the client knowing. Okay. I you got know, you. and that's when they always say you have all your eggs in one basket because those super agents go on to say, Hey, we'll handle your money, we'll here your we'll handle your um your business expenses and everything and you know the young kids coming up don't realize they just leave everything into the, that hand, the, those hands and there's so much money that they lose track and that's where we the our last um second last time we talked we talked about we spoke about you know um players getting um getting um ripped off by mm -hmm. their financial advisors but a lot of times it's agents also interesting well interesting stat too andrew that you have according to sports illustrated after two years in the NFL, when uh, NFL players retire, within two years, 78% are broke or in some kind of financial crisis, either right. divorce or whatever. In the NBA, after five years, 60% are broke. I mean, that's right. a horrifying stat. All that money, all that generational money you make that you can take care of your kids, kids, and grandkids. Within five years, a lot of these guys are, you know, belly up, right. including some agents. Right. Well, Andrew, so where do we start? Well, Andrew talked about this the last time, and, and programs have to be developed. I mean, the kids learn how to play basketball or they learn how to play football, and too much of the rest of it is taken care of by other people. Right. And you're putting your faith, maybe sometimes not in the hands of the best people, like a Lee Steinberg, mm -hmm. when you find out it's too late. 
and now you find yourself at the back of the line as the lawsuits start to file up, right. and one right after another, more and more of this money's got, uh, guy's money is drained. Right. And then you have a divorce, then you have right. the alcohol right. issue. Real right. quick example before we go to the, the NBA stuff or the NFL stuff. I talked to a sports agent, gave me a quick example. He had a boxing client who made $500,000 for a fight. He lost the fight, made 500 grand. Taxes taken out, it's about 300 grand. Fees, attorneys, et cetera, about 275. He goes out and buys a $200,000 car, and there was no next fight lined up. So End when people ask about how guys get broke, uh -huh. those are quick right. examples. All right, let's go to the NFL now. Big playoff games coming up, championships. Scott Gray, you're back. You had predicted last week, and about a minute, about a minute left. You predicted the Giants and Patriots last week. I'm going to assume you stick with that prediction. Well, once third. you you make a prediction, as long as that prediction still has a chance of coming through, you stick with it. Why do you like the Giants? We got about a minute thirty. Be Why the Giants? Because they are much better than their stats. Everybody's downplaying their stats, but any negative stats of the Giants are really heavy uh, weighted by the first half of the season when they were the most injured team in the NFL. Now they've got everybody back. They've got two running backs averaging 4.5 yards a carry. They've got a full. Receiving core, including Andrew Cruz, who came on when Victor everybody Cruz. else, or Victor Cruz, <laughs> think about Andrew, Andrew uh, <laughs> when everybody else was injured early in the season. And as I said, if the Giants got another crack at the Packers, they would beat them. All right, we've got, we got 30 seconds. Pitta, who you like in the, the Super Bowl? I see Giants and the Patriots. All right. I see Giants. I think Giants is, um, are a more physical team in the playoffs. You have to be able to be physical. And I think the Giants are a more physical team with a more physical run game. How about this storyline, guys? No one's talking about it. Baltimore and. Uh, San Francisco, San Francisco, brother versus brother, first time ever. The Harbor Boys. What a great storyline. Even if the Pats and Giants don't get there, what a great story to have two brothers competing. Well, there are, a number, there are a number of great stories. Certainly, if it's Pats and Giants, I know a lot of Patriots fans really want that right. because they want revenge. But it's not happening. We're going to have you guys back. We're going to have a little hors d'oeuvres, some finger food here for the Super Bowl. So come back for that, all right? I promise you. Thanks to all our guests. Princess Bola Adelani. Tim O'Brien, Scott Gray, Andrew Pinnock. Don't forget, catch our show 24-7, ctnow.com slash Stan. Friend us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. For the good folks here at Fox Connecticut, I'm Stan Simpson, Tim Lammers. And the morning news is next.